This is actually the third year that we've been lucky enough to be involved in the Best Performing Oils project. It's always a lot of hard work, it's chaotic, but it's always a lot of fun. Three, two, one, action. First year we created Car Park Carnage. The second year we created Country Club Chaos. This year we wanted to do something different. It's about how the best performing oils and parts can make it, not only make your car run super, but keep it running super. Three, two, one. The best simple idea we can get to when we're talking about longevity is Retirement Village. It's just a fun idea, you know, you've got narrow streets, these little villas, lots of interesting, fun, quirky characters. The Super Cheap Auto Oils campaign, it's glitzy, it's glamorous, it's bingo in the Retirement Village. All right. But then the challenge starts about how to get it out into the world. From having the concept and a script on paper, it's probably about a six, eight month journey from that point on. Pre-production involved an enormous amount of concept development, planning and budgeting. We had a lot of challenges. That was different to previous campaigns. More story, more characterization. Through our connections with trade partners, we were able to get 10 of the current supercars drivers, our past and present drivers from other categories, as well as, you know, just recognisable faces from outside of motorsport. It's quite a broad scope of, of cameos this year. Which is great, and we thought, oh, fantastic, we'll just age them up like they're residents of the retirement village. What fun that will be. And it was, but that's a world of prosthetics and makeup. All of that added to the complexity of turning it into reality. We have produced over 150 individual pieces. Each, each character or each driver gets four different pieces for their faces. Each morning we're in makeup for around about three hours. They're quite inefficient and unprofessional actually. And they're just off camera right now. Uh, I probably shouldn't tell you the truth. Of course, a really professional team. And this here is what I think really makes the difference between an amateur looking shoot and a professional looking shoot. The biggest day we had a team of six makeup artists. Constant parade of people coming yeah. through. Lots of early mornings and very long days. Sleep deprived. Yeah, it's a lot of sleep deprivation. <laughs> Overall, incredible experience. <laughs> you can come out now. <laughs>
V8, open wheeler, wings and slicks. Normally, this weekend we're on the wets, just for a little bit more safety grip around these uh, tight, narrow streets. Certainly uh, a different experience. Usually we're going like 300k an hour into the chase at Bathurst, but this weekend we're uh, in a retirement village. This year we had to elevate our safety presence. This is a precision job. So absolutely need these vehicles to hit their marks. We had 90 crew and cast on set for four days. The shoot days were 12 hour plus. We had four cameras running. This year is absolutely massive with a couple of satellite units and I've got a whole bunch of lenses floating up in the air. And we've got our FPV drones out with Scott Townsend flying those, getting right up and amongst the action. I physically duck then. We were operating within the whole residential community, so we literally had to take over the whole place. We needed people, you know, on every front door, every back door, driveways, just securing lockdown. Over here, this is safe. Anywhere around here is unsafe. So it's my responsibility to ultimately to make sure everyone goes home at the end of every day with all their fingers and all their toes. This is literally in, you know, three feet away from people's front doors. A big part of our process is to, to make sure that residents are either staying inside their properties or they're in a designated safe zone where they can see the action and watch the monitors. On every level we've brought the residents in and made them as much of a part of this as, as we possibly can. They were all really welcoming and really lovely and really excited about what we we're about to do in their backyard. The place feels alive. I just absolutely love it. The people are lovely. They've spoiled us and how lucky we are. They just made us feel really welcome. Oh, and I think the director's hot love. He can put his shoes under my bed any day. Three, two, one, action. Crew's amazing, like, everyone's got a good vibe. A crazy run show behind the scenes. No, if you're not here, you wouldn't understand what goes into making a video like this. Taxi film production is incredible. It takes a huge number of people to pull it off. In all honesty, I pinch myself every day getting to do the high-octane stuff, stuff that gets the heart pumping. Rob brings these incredible stunts. Him and I was working on them for ages together. We get to do these epic sort of driving scenes in random, never-to-be-done-again places. Just a really good team. I love being part of it. All the camera guys, all the camera girls, everybody, our department, everybody who's come together on this one has put in a mammoth effort and a massive shout out to Superchip Auto for trusting everybody enough to let us run wild on a creative like this. Reese from Super Cheap Auto, this is his baby and he lives and breathes it 24 hours a day for, you know, nine months I think we've been working on this. Seeing it grow into this massive project and being able to lean in and support and help and you know, continue to push the boundaries with it. Big thank you to our trade partners who continually trust us with raising the bar every year. We would not be here without your support. That is officially a wrap on Super Cheap 2023. This year's Super Cheap Auto campaign has just been a thrill ride a minute and we've loved every moment of it. Thank you Super Cheap Auto and we hope you enjoy it. Super. Super cheap order.